Hey, welcome everybody to Battle Pirates Crib. Um, we're going to be talking about chaos theory. Uh, go ahead and introduce everybody. Uh, we haven't seen Kenny in a while. Did you have problems with the uh, the wall on the uh, the northern border? Trump tried to keep me out. Yeah, yeah, that wall. Oh well. And uh, Mike, uh, how are you doing? I guess you know. Long-time listeners of the show would probably already guess this, but before the show, he let us know that he's he's one special shy of a full fleet. <laughs> I am, actually. Yeah. That's, so. that's a true statement. Hello, everybody. <laughs> so, And uh, Ben, how are you doing? Good. Hello, everyone. <laughs> so, um, yeah, hopefully Aussie shows up. Somehow, uh, Kenny ended up in... Uh, Sector 81, so uh, we're in the 80s somewhere. So uh, we, uh, we don't really have anybody at this point that's uh, in an alpha or beta. So I was stuck in the 80s for a while. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So uh, bug fixes, they fixed uh, the issues with the mega halls that were slow on the world map and should be back to normal. So yeah, let's move on. Uh, right now, we are in the uh, January Raid, Chaos Theory. Um, the next update on Tuesday, which should have the HTML, HTML5 beta release, um, which seems to cure everything from migraines to arthritis based on uh, how, how well people, uh, how much people want to see it. Um, but I would uh, lower your expectations. This is a beta release. And I would expect a lot of bugs at the beginning. And as we talked about earlier, this is reversible. You can go back and forth between um, Flash and uh, uh, the uh, client. So, and FM VXP weekend. And then the following week is Bounty 28 with the new Tier 9 Conqueror. So. No thoughts, then we'll move on. All right, chaos theory. Runs, and let's move on to the next one. All right, we have uh, three new targets. Um, the 506, which is the X target. Uh, we'll have pictures of these, and hopefully we'll get somebody to show up to run through the targets. It's an alpha or beta. Um, doesn't have its own, it's not co-op, at least from what I've been told. Uh, the second completion bonus is with the S target, so you get uh, 500,000 points. And then if you've completed the equivalent of uh, a full S target, you get another quarter of a million. Um, and then if you complete a, an S target set, you get uh, 1 million. So, um, I don't know. We'll have to see how the targets fare. Um, the S targets look more attractive at this point in time. Um, and we get the Jagged Bite Torpedo Shards, which hopefully everybody is stored up on because of the, uh, if you hit the uh, the 127 or above, you get uh, those shards in the FM. So, mm -hmm. and um Anybody else have any thought on the targets? Does that mean the X target is not? It's not blitz or it's not um, co-op, but it's standalone from the 141, 140. But you also get a, a another bonus if you hit them all three of them. Or did I not hear that right? Okay, yeah, you, you get if you hit it. Let's let's say you you hit a one forty. Let's say you, first you hit a one forty, yeah. you get two hundred fifty thousand. You hit a one forty one, you will get another two hundred fifty thousand for that. So you're at a half a million, and then at that point you've gotten the bonus. So now you have a million points okay. because you achieved that bonus. Then if you hit the five oh six, you'll get five hundred thousand. And then you've also got the bonus because you completed the 140 and 141. All right. Okay. So you can get a million and a half points if you do all three of those. Um, no. 1.75. 1.25. 75. Okay. Yeah, all right. Okay. Okay. 
I left out the 250. Okay. okay. Or 250. Though. Gotcha. All right. One second. I'm messaging uh, Derpy because he's an alpha. And, uh, oh, yeah. So you only got to do the S sets. What? 51 times? S set will give you a million points. The ad set with the bonus target, 51 times to get a badge? Uh, I, I didn't even put the badges up here, so I don't know. Hey, Derpy. Badges? Hey, Derpy. Stinking badges. <laughs> oh, pretty good. So let's, uh, let's move on. But remember, it's a, it's a million percent. And here we go. Um, this is the description part of the strategy guide that was provided um, to us. The 506 experimental target, better to drive, high difficulty, riot fleet with flag, highly recommended. The level 140 is auto friendly, no mines or nitro clouds, mainly hell wraiths. Uh, it has a few scouts in it. Um, 141, better to drive, includes all enemy slash damage types. So, um, and the tips are pull ships to safer areas and make use of the junk jets, which is the rear facing weapons. Um, destroy relays, which are the torp towers, when hell race are near to the surface and are near to surface and stun them for short periods of time. Avoid leading ships to mines if you want maximum points. Uh, and we'll get into some more details as far as the strategy guide. This was just their sort of summary tips and tricks thing. Um, the Gale Defense System 4 is useful against the Hulk's Barrage. Uh, barrage meaning mortar barrage, but not against its rockets. Um, but from what we've seen, you can outrange the rockets. So there's no real need if you if you kite them to uh, have to counter them. Um, Comrade Anti-Torpedo 1 is recommended to counter the torpedoes from the Hell Race, but is un not able to shoot down the smart torpedoes. Okay, uh, and I'm assuming, because this gets a little complicated or they conflicted themselves, I'm assuming they're talking about the smart torpedoes that comes from the Hulk. Um, if you see a smart torpedo coming, move to the side to avoid it. They do not, they do not turn well, um, and again, Mines cause damage to enemy ships, which will cause a loss of event points. For so whatever is damaged by the mines, you take out of the uh, the total points that uh, is listed for the target. So, any thoughts, or should we move on to the individual components? Thoughts? Nope. About that? Looks pretty uh, well explained to me. Okay, then move to the next slide if nobody has anything. Um, this is just the step by step of the individual components of the targets. Um, the Scout, uh, fast moving and has concussive Gatling guns, so it doesn't have any torpedoes. We assume those are going to be splash related. Uh, the aggro range is uh, um, how f close do you get to them and until they start to move. So this one has a fairly long one, so you don't need to get that close to it to get it into motion. And next one. Hellwraith. Um, concussive torpedo, average counter chance, um, explosive splash torpedoes. Hopefully they've changed the graphics on these. The concussive torpedoes, you couldn't see. Um, <clears throat> They were just little blips in the water, and they they mentioned that they might change those. Um, and the other ones, the explosive splash torpedoes, is the ones I call the flaming trash cans. Uh, they're slow moving, very short range to activate them, and they are um, submerged. But I guess it's sometimes surface based on the previous thing. Um, if I read that and understood what they wrote correctly. And I, I did hear, I did have someone message me and tell me that they took more damage when they're above water. Okay, the Hellwraith did or the, the player? The Hellwraith. The Hellwraith takes more damage above water. Okay. okay. 
So you want to get them near the torp towers so they surface, right? Well, that's what it said. It said they stun them, so, yeah. It's the, that's what I took from it. It's kind of there's an aura there that makes them come up. Okay. Okay. Um, all right, let's move on to the next one. Uh, the Hulk um, has a explosive mortar barrage with a high chance to counter short range explosive rockets with a low counter chance. So this is one of those because before they said they didn't they didn't work at all. So because gales shouldn't work against rockets. So I I don't know. Well, I guess we'll figure it out, but this uh, whole strategy guide, I didn't make it up, but it's not internally consistent. And the explosive smart torpedo which fires, uh, has a low turn rate and explodes, creating an ice field that lasts for a short period of time. And um, so any any thoughts on that one? It creates a, a short a period of time. Yeah, we'll see. We'll, we'll see when Turkey goes through it. So let's, 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 Usually they put a number, okay. No, they don't. <clears throat> All right. Not hostile when destroyed creates a short cab field that stuns the hell race for a short time and then surfaces them. So it it would surface and stun them. So, you know, I guess when they're going through. And uh, just so we have, let's go see the next one. Uh, proximity mine. Um, it both explodes on uh, you and uh, mm -hmm. any of the enemies. Um, uh, you can't shoot at them and causes a point reduction it would be cool though i think if they you got points for killing them that way i you know it just seems like it would be more fun as opposed to trying to avoid them to get points so no thoughts no yeah, those are the same ones that we had in the vxp targets right? yeah and uh if they are the same one in the VXP targets, the hitbox for those is a lot bigger than the picture, which is okay. something to keep in mind. Okay. Yeah, I guess it's proximity, so you don't have to. Um, okay, makes sense. And then the clouds um, doesn't affect the Reaver ships, so no issues dragging them through it, but uh, you don't want to go through it yourself. So, um, Derpy, I'm gonna. I think the next couple slides are dealing with the targets. If you want to uh, start getting ready to, uh, mm -hmm. to hit a target, and we'll take a look at the. I'll go to full screen, and uh, Mike, can you go to uh, the map of the uh, 140? Okay. As we said before, this is a uh, the auto-friendly target. There's no mines. There's no nitro fields, and it's basically all hell rays with. Uh, three scouts and a whole bunch of uh, of the uh, torp towers as I call them that will produce the uh, the short lived or 10 second or whatever it is uh, cap field that will surface and stun them so I wonder if this is a long target to do uh, it really depends on all the, the whole mechanism if you're yeah. trying to outrun their their explosive the flying trash or the flaming trash can there is a chance that it's going to take a while um yeah, i'm just kind of thinking out loud is this is going to be one of those raids where you sit in a target for a long time um i don't, no. know. You don't even have to go there i just yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll see it. We'll, we're sort of skipping ahead because you know uh, okay we have to target in a couple minutes, so it's okay. uh, not really worth speculating on. It. Excellent. Yep. All right. This is the uh, 141. Uh, again, you see the, the ring of mines. Uh, you see the scouts, and then you see the uh, the hulks, the large ships in the back. So, and uh, only five of the hell rays. So, uh, 
yeah, and it looks like, I don't know, it looks like this one probably could be done for minimal damage, but not a lot of points by just, because there seems to be a lot of mines out there. And, uh, okay. Uh, and Derpy, I remember you said earlier you did some experiments, at least in the VXP targets, and I'm, I'm assuming you'll test that again in these targets, that the scouts can be... Uh, uh, kited as far as the they appear to have a, a well they had you could kite them with uh, silverfish for example but it was it was a barely barely possible and they were moving the whole time so I don't really think it's feasible okay I don't think you can kite them with the riots okay alrighty are you almost uh, almost ready yep I'm ready whenever Okay, you want to share your screen? Yep. Okay. You still need me on? Well, just, I mean. I'll watch on YouTube. Never mind. Okay. Because we still have more slides after this one. It's all good. I got the laptop. Okay. Okay, I'm starting the 140. You ready? Yeah, yeah. And did you, yep, you're all set up. And you have the, did you go with the Hyper 30 or did you go with the new special? I went with the new damage diffusion system, and okay. my ships are fully built, but not quite fully armored because reasons. How about um, upgrades? Not upgraded at all. Okay. And I am using no steel heads. Okay, nothing's moving yet. Mm -hmm. Okay, we already saw the target, so I don't need to look around. Well, these things have a really low trigger range. Yeah, yeah. So is he... He was almost surfaced at that point. Is that what I was seeing? No, they, they it is surfaced right now, and it went back under. Okay, okay. Huh. You're not taking damage on the flag... There's a little bit on there. Okay. My projectile speed's really slow. I went with the blister hot bat ray. I know some other people were going with uh, other other specials like sealed fire charge. Mm -hmm. Well, and also the you know that you didn't use the hyper thirty also dropped your projectile speed a little bit. And then you get more of it if you upgrade too, which I haven't done. Okay. You can see the torpedoes a little bit more clearly, I think, the concussive ones. Okay. Yeah, I have a hard time seeing them through the... I don't have it at full screen, but... <clears throat> Ours are so visible, but do they need to be this, this visible? You know what I mean? Oh, so I'm... Right, you can see I'm I'm killing the hell wraith and it's not even moving. Yeah. Huh. Like it doesn't it doesn't trigger until you get closer than your actual firing range. Well, it seems like you should attack them from the back. You should be backing into them, so to speak, if you could, because they're not moving, so they can't avoid your your junk jets. If you follow, I'm not sure how. Yeah, that makes sense, but. We'll just hit it like get close enough and then and hit 180, 180 degrees behind you and then hit the down button. I don't know if that would like that. Yeah. Yeah, but if I stop, then the explosive torpedoes are going to hit. Oh, okay. okay. Well, it seems to fire and keeps on firing at that same spot. Well, that one seemed to. Okay, maybe you got close enough to that one. Doesn't it seem to. It's just sort of. Firing at the same spot that it started off with. The explosive torpedo? No, yeah, the, it, the junk jet. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not seeing much stunning going on. Maybe they need to be a little bit closer before this done. Well, he's sitting right inside of the field. 
That one didn't stun. It was right on top of it. Yeah. Maybe they need to be surfaced to be stunned. Because I don't remember the Cav uh, field stunning anything. Mayor told me on Discord that they stunned in the VXP targets. Okay. Well, maybe if you've already got them surfaced and you drag them through several of them, you know, one surfaces them and the next one stuns them after they've already been surfaced. I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> well, these rides sure seem slow to me. Maybe it's because I'm zoomed out a little bit further than usual. Okay. This kind of showing my fear. It's going to be a long. Each, these targets are a long time. <clears throat> Feels like it. Well, he hasn't really. Well, he's been in there. Here we go. That one stunned. That one stunned when it was literally right on top of the torpedo tower. Yeah. So you you have to be really close, which is probably why I didn't notice it in the VXP targets because I was pretty much suiciding one ship in at a time. Okay. No, oh, okay, that one's going to disappear. Yeah, I'm trying to use the junk, junk jets, but I'm a little bit too fast for it to work. Well, that first group didn't really start to move. These ones are moving, so it seems like the junk jets would be easier to use if they're just sitting there. This doesn't seem like a target that's too complicated to drive, at least mediocre, for with mediocre results. Yeah. Yeah, there's no, like, um, something that's just going to flatten you in a second. <laughs> or, you know, nothing that's going to sink you if you screw up on... <clears throat> So as far as damage on my ships, they're all uneven, and ship five has taken more, even though they're all built the same. Okay. Because, I, because I'm wondering if it's considered the encounter, because you're running from these a lot, right? Mm -hmm. So the accuracy-based, that's why I used, and, um, did you do crowd control? Yes, yeah, some of it. Okay, you didn't Most do all of it? it? Okay. Because if you did all of it, um, you have enough to take one ship all the way to U3 without spending any shipyard time. And, um, okay, you took mostly, let's see, you took 4% concussive and what, 6% 6 explosive. explosive. Okay. Which is interesting because I don't have any explosive armors and I have two concussive armors. Let's see, one hour, five minutes repair time. Okay. That's not bad, but it could be better. Yeah. This is my build. It's the same on all five ships. I'm a little bit zoomed out, but... One Gale, one Cormorant, Rest Jagged Bite, two Concussive Armors. I might have to add more Explosive. And then yeah. Sync Drive, uh, Advanced Concussive Payload, Blister Hot Bat Ray, Hydro Atomizer, um, Concussive Battery, Damage Diffusion System. Is that concussive or was that explosive battery you had? That's concussive battery. Sync drive. Oh, oh sync drive. Is explosive explosive. sync drive, yeah. All right. Can I ask why the explosive sync drive? Is it because because it, it came out more recently than the uh, concussive sync drive. And that was pretty much my only reason. Either one really works, right? All right. Well, I didn't know if it was for the survival of it. Survival uh, helps. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, <clears throat> is your evade on each hull seventy six percent? It's not quite seventy six percent because I don't have the last two armors on. Okay. I think it's sixty seven right now. Okay, 141, I didn't repair, so I still have an hour, five minutes of damage. Okay. And this is going to be the more complicated one, right? Yeah, this is the one Yeah, you're supposed to drive. <clears throat> 
So yeah, the junk jets keep firing even if you turn away. Yeah, they seem to keep on firing in the same location. So that's why I was I was thinking if you with the stationary ships, if you just you know, first encounter them while you're run you know, that you could still need to sort of stay somewhat in range, but you could still have a driving an area to drive around and avoid stuff. <clears throat> Yeah. <clears throat> we missed it. I, at least I missed it. Did you berserk last time or this time? I did berserk once last time, yeah. Okay. I'm not sure which ship is actually the best one to kill on these mines. I, yeah, I don't know. When I was doing the VXP target, I was choosing, because I didn't have as much speed as I do now, I was choosing these uh, Hell Rays. <clears throat> Because I wasn't really sure at that point how to deal with them. <clears throat> oh, oh, ice torpedo. I think I got a hit off that. It didn't fire for a little while. And then the Hulks do have a death weapon, which was not mentioned on that form briefing, that spits out things randomly. And it's the one where you can't really tell where it's hitting until it already hit. Yeah, the ones that was in the relays that everybody loves. Yeah, back when the Skyfires and Phoenixes were the ships. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, everybody just loves random huge damage. <laughs> Hopefully they're not nearly as damaging as they were at that point. Because they would just take out your ships. That was stupid. Yep. Before. Yeah. Yep. So this, uh, these hulks have a pretty low reload time. I'm getting a little bit of lag here, so I hope it comes back. But yes. uh, can't tell what's happening. Uh, yeah, we can't. There we go. Here we go. Yeah, you're nope, like... nope, nope, nope. Which is odd because your frames per second are still twenty six. There we go. We're back, and that was that probably hurt. Yeah. But that's an odd sort of because yeah. your your frames per second were actually higher than they are now when you were getting all the lag. Or at least they appeared to be. So. That's what yep. I think I took a little bit of rocket damage from the Hulk there, and I didn't see my gales firing at that exactly how I would expect them to work. Mm-hmm. Because Gale should not work against rockets. You're going to run through the piss pool? <laughs> <laughs> nope. I'll go around. I don't think these actually do that much damage. Yeah, there's a lot of the uh, torp torpedoes, considering there's not that many that many hell rays. So there's That's what I was thinking. Either there's a function to using multiple ones of them, like you scare them all up and then you drag them through a couple of these, or maybe they just put too many in. I don't know. Well, if you miss killing it on the first cav ring, you there's a second attempt with a second one. Because they will go back under after a little while. Yeah, I'm just, yeah. Or if, do they have to be surfaced in order to be stunned? I don't know. The one in the last target, the only ones that stunned were directly on top of the Torp Tower when I killed the Torp Tower. 
Okay. So I think that's it's like a range of twenty or something. Okay. So what I'm seeing is ship five is taking way more damage. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's the one to be upgraded if people have upgrade tokens. Yeah. Yep, that was my that was my plan. That's why I didn't equally distribute them because I was assuming with the accuracy based torpedoes that there would be there would be a slot in there that was assuming number five that was going to be taking uh, uh, most of the accuracy based damage. Yeah. See that hell rest didn't uh, freeze when you hit it in the second field. It's like you gotta be on the tower. Yeah. Okay, that one. Five percent concussive damage, eight percent explosive damage. Remember, yeah. I don't have explosive armor. Yeah. Let's yeah. See. Two hours, 37 minutes. I had one hour, five before, so that's one hour and 32 minutes damage. Mm -hmm. But you had that lag in there, too. Yeah, Yeah. And so it, it can be better. And I didn't use that many mines. I only purposely killed one ship on a mine, so... Yeah, it's still annoying, though, as far as not you know rounding out to the right numbers, but... I know certain people that, you know, that would ruin their whole raid to be off by that much. Oh, my God. <laughs> yep. We're going to have a couple complaints, I'm sure. Who would that be? I don't know. No, oh, we want to do the 505. Sure, if you're up for it. Yeah, if I die, I die, but. No OCD people in this group. Yeah. Okay. Uh -oh. TSM thinks the 506 is the best. So you were at 230. What was it? 230. Uh, 237. Yeah. Okay. Yep. 237. 506, not 505. And all the other targets should be old ones that we've seen before in last raid, etc. Okay. What's this one? <laughs> Bunch of clouds, yeah. hail wraiths, and then this is way more spread out, which leaves you a lot more room to work with. And it looks like it has fewer ships total, unless I'm missing something. Oh. Also looks like, oh no, that the torpedo tower. All the torpedo towers are hidden inside of these clouds. But that, I don't know how that impacts. It, it just makes it harder to see. Yeah, yeah, well, okay, yeah. Well, I'm also wondering if it prevents you from making them follow you directly, you know, because you notice that the stun only appear to have about a 20 range. So you can't just, like, run over the torp tower and have them follow you directly. So you know, in order to do a little sort of loop-de-loop, you know, kill it and then hug the, uh, hug the, uh, whatever they call it. The cloud, it. yep. I forget what I'm, I was looking for their name, but yeah. Oh, the nitro cloud. Yeah, the nitro cloud. That's it. Looks like you gotta make them run over mine. I'll try that with the hell wraith. Either they eat it or you do. It looks like. Yeah, and can you sneak through those? Okay. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. I, I was a little bit uh, I'm not sure <laughs> it was worth it. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, no. Yeah. Two mines is going to kill him. Not oh. Oh, right. yeah. Okay. Let's see. These next two I can try it because I can't just pull them over. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. yeah. It really depends on what... Okay, they trigger a little further away than some of the other ones. Yeah. I'm seeing some inconsistencies in triggering. Okay, Smart Torpedo, what you doing? Oh, and they're turning away instead of... <clears throat> Oh. 
Ooh. At least you're fast enough. You can do whatever. I don't want to kill that one yet. Oh, well. Okay. Are you going to get... So you can definitely outrange the rockets if you're not getting lagged. Yep. Yeah. If you pay attention. If I go a little bit closer, I think they'll shoot, but they have a slower projectile speed and you, your combat... See, I almost got hit by that glowing thing there. I think you're fast enough that you can outrun, outrun the rockets anyway. Okay. Oh, this one's a little tricky because you don't have any place to run but back through them. As long as they go through, it's fine by me. They're trying to kite me a little bit. They're not coming straight on, are they? I think they might be coming straight on. Yeah, they're looking. And I took some, I, I hit that mine there. Like I said, the hitbox is a bit bigger. I stopped paying attention, took one mine. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, you were slipping. You were flipping from one to another. I was like, "Wow, you took a lot of damage in like a split second. But you were yeah. you know, switching between ships, and I was another tricky one. I'm gonna do the open one first, yeah. and I'll try and get the torp tower on that one, and the mines on the next two, because there aren't as many torp towers as there are Hellwraith in this one. It's not a good idea to run down here and trigger those other ones. Yeah, it's not a good idea. Yeah, uh, TSM suggested earlier that send in a single ship to trigger the pack to chase you. Not sure. So that if the mines trigger, you take less damage? I guess so. I guess that makes sense, but but you would remember they also have a stacking bonus as far as your survival. So, is it? But there's no aura, so is it just infinite? I think it's on that aura. I think it's. I need to double check, but I thought it was forty. It's, it's not displaying on my screen, so. What's well, the green thing? Oh, That's counter. my countermeasures. Yeah. Okay, I'll have to double check or to somebody else. Uh, it does have a range. That, yeah. Could you? Well, they're not check? showing it to me. Yeah. I'll double check. Yeah, smart torpedo chasing me. Oh, yeah. A, oh, yep. Wow, Took I hit him both. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the cops I, are going to pull you over, Derpy. <laughs> <laughs> you have to stay between the lines. Yep. Yeah, just mowing over safety cones. Okay, I lost one chip. Yeah. Seems to have a range of forty. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it just doesn't display. That that aura never did display, did it? I never, never saw it. On any ship, the auras don't for stacking defense bonuses doesn't oh. show it. Good move on that smart torp. <clears throat> I almost wonder if I can squeeze, I can't shooting squeeze shooting that or through. Are your gales shooting at, uh, at, at the, the death uh, mortars? Yeah. I haven't seen them, so I'm going to say no. Did I see cheese balls again? Yeah. 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 And yeah, that make you happy? Yeah. We love all love cheese balls. Okay, we're gonna try and not hit anything this time. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. At least you didn't hit four, so that's good. <laughs> he ain't done yet. <laughs> well, I think he's he's gonna have to try to hit him at this point. I got faith in him.
Yeah. Nice long targets. Hi, Aussie. Hi, Lady Cat. I'm going to have to leave uh, pretty shortly. I have something else going on in real life. Okay. Thank you for showing us the set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was great. Oh, yeah. 3% concussive, way more explosive because I'm a bad driver. 9% taken. Nine. Let's see. 200. What's the point? I don't know how many points that one gets. Five hours damage from two and a half. That's one hour, 50 minutes, give or take a little bit. Okay, so it's slow. Well, no, because you got a million points for the first one. So, yeah, you were getting. You took less damage per points on the asset. Yeah, um, but I figure if, if you're driving a little, if you. If you, it seems like it might be worth it if you can avoid the mines every time. But if you're going to be doing something else, multitasking, not paying a ton of attention, then the 140 is probably the best one to hit. Yeah, yeah. You know, after your fourth or fifth beer, switch over to the 140. There you go. <laughs> so, all right, let's. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, let's go to the next slide, Mike. Okay, well, we've seen this one in action, and uh, let's go to the next one. All right. And we can get, we can claim five of these. The, uh, I don't know, the Tila Tequila. I don't know, the uh, the Golden Eagle. Um, is, uh, or a Maquila. <laughs> yes. Yeah, well, uh, like I said, I got to go. Thanks for having me on. I'll be back a little bit later with my stuff. Take okay. care. Yeah, you're going to be on it uh, an hour and 15 minutes? 6, 6 p.m., yep. Okay. And uh, are you going to be repaired by then? I might have to uh, use a little bit of shiny things. Okay. Yeah. Well, Thank you. For, uh, okay. Thanks for showing up. Thanks. Um. All right. The... Um, <clears throat> So as we learn that, you know, as uh, Chuck's saying, driving is key. So, yeah, yeah, it's uh, – and I think we'll probably figure out some strategies because it looks like they gave us some tools in there between the mines and the uh, and the torp towers um, to cut some down some damage and create some little chaos. But um, here's one of the prizes that people are interested in. And um, – it's okay. The lesson learned. Okay, if you are going to claim this, you can claim it five times. It's very expensive. It's like four point five million, I think, per, and you can claim five of them. But if you take a look at the damage, it's um, uh, forty-four k with a reload time of four, and then the Pilum rocket is uh, three point four six with a reload time of three. So if you are running anything besides Cluster Warheads 3, you want to stay with the Pilum Rocket, or you want to switch over to Cluster Warheads 3. If you put them all on one ship, maybe that's the way you do it, because <clears throat> the DPS doesn't get... Uh, the DPS, unless you max out at 0.2 reload, is lower with the... Um, with the new rocket. Is everybody following what I'm saying here, or do I need to, to explain? Yeah, it makes sense. Okay. So, <clears throat> and the minimum, um, the minimum uh, 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 rocket reload that you need for your ships to make this effective is uh, 400% uh, and scald in order to make the, uh, the new rocket more effective. But if you are, it's much more effective once you get past the 400 because your this reload time at the bottom just gets crossed away. So every shot is coming out at every 0.2 seconds is uh, 42K versus 34K. So you're getting about a 30% increase in damage. But otherwise, these are identical. 
Um, this is the straight fit time of 20 hours, 19 minutes, which is, it's not the refit time, which will be lower, but I can, I don't own it. So I can only do it in there. I guess I could have done it in the whatever, but that's, um, <clears throat> that is your regular fit time. So it'll be lower, but it's not the three hours that we've been seeing recently. So I don't know. Any thoughts? Hmm. Just like you said, running it on one ship, maybe. You know, all of them on one. Okay. Yeah, well, if you were running, but you're, are you running, you're running cluster three, right? Yes. Okay, so there's no, you know, there's no reason. But if you're running, um, Oh, is it Warlord or, or Warhead Reloader? Is that the one? Yeah. Yeah. You're, you might want to switch over, put it on one ship, and put Cluster 3 on there for, for these ships. So, yeah. Um, is a rocket really? Yeah. But once you get past 400, it doesn't matter. So you've, you've gotten into that point two level where it no longer matters anymore. So that's my recommendation on this one. And uh, let's go on. What's next? All right. Uh, the Riot X1. Um, we get increased uh, concussive survival by quite a bit, 30K of each, which is ridiculous. Um, you know, you're getting into some... Because it's all based on this 468%. Every time you, every time you add the 100%, it's getting reduced as far as the effectiveness of it. Um, so I, I don't know why the number is so large. Um, I don't know if it's to impress us or what the reason is. Um, torpedo critical chance of plus 50%, which is nice, will add on to your R&D or any crews you have. So that will double your damage because we don't we don't have um, oh yeah we do have the uh, oh the because uh, this special the the uh, the sailors bay or whatever it is that adds both uh, critical chance and critical damage so this could be important projectile speed plus forty and the jumbo jumbo junk jet which adds um, the splash goes from twenty to fifty. If I have the first number right, and the um, firing arc goes from 36 to 90 by adding 54 percent, so you have a whole quarter of the circle um, available. It takes um, <clears throat> 60 uh, 60 kits, six days, 19 hours for four ships. What's up? A month? Yes. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. So. They didn't stop with this upgrade shit. Uh, yeah, because next month, it's what are you going to be doing with even your generic tokens? You're built, you know. Uh oh, we lost Mike. <laughs> <laughs> he was, uh, I guess, unhappy with, uh, or I don't know what happened to him. But um, so we lost the slides at the same time. Um, the next one, it's, I know it's not there for you guys to see, but the next one is the Raging Riot X1. Um, it takes 80, 80 kits. Uh, it's 10 days, 4 hours, and 48 minutes for the ship. Um, it adds 40,000 survival, concussive and explosive. Uh, again, a huge number. Um, torpedo critical chance goes up to plus 70%. So you're probably right around 100% between the, the special and your R&D. Um, projectile speed of plus 40, and you get the scrap spewer, which is, uh, I'm assuming, is going to provide an increase of damage um, over the previous one. And you get the same adjustments to both splash and fire angle. Um, I don't know if uh, Mike is coming back. Okay, don't know what happened. I dropped, but he's not adding himself back in. 
but uh, all right. Um, the um, since he's not here, I'll just read out. Uh, it's four point five million for each one of the Aramakila rockets, um, with a potential of up to five claims. Um, um, okay. Are you uh, close to uh, the slides back up? Yeah, I dropped them. Huh? Well, yeah, it sounds like you might have lost your internet. You're a little bit robot-y. Yeah, what's happening, been happening all day. Okay. I should be sharing. Okay. And am I on the right screen? Yep, yep. Okay. Let's go with it. I'm going to go X2. Yeah, you're really robot -y, Mike. And, uh, okay. I'll just, uh, go on. Okay. It's not, I don't think it's, it's not loading on my screen, but uh, actually, if you can go to the one that has the prizes, and hopefully it loads at some point for people. Um, so basically, it's uh, 4.5 million for each one of them. Um, the upgrade kits, um, I don't know, let's see where this loads. Hmm. It's not on my tube either. Yeah, we can't really hear it. I don't it. know. Let me. Oh, is it showing up on YouTube? I just no, can't... it's not showing up on my YouTube. Okay. So okay. I just not. I can try and reload one more time if you like. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't know. Um, well, basically, um, already. Um, I don't know. You guys can all read about the uh, the prize cost uh, on the forum, uh, but we do have the ability to claim up to five um, riot upgrades, raging riot upgrade tokens, and five of each of the uh, build tokens, which I think is they're you know there's not as pricey as sometimes they are, but. Uh, um, you know, it allow people as far as the build tokens to adjust and uh, people, if you earn the kits as you're going, you know, um, you know, as I mentioned earlier, getting at least one shipped up to U3 would be, uh, it's pretty important um, because the fifth ship, as you saw when Derpy was running through there is taking a lot more damage. So I would suggest uh, that might be the route is to, if you're a little bit close, because we got the, a three-day one associated with uh, Kicksmas, and you can get five of them associated with the crowd control DLC. And then you got one more for merely participating in pillage, which will take one ship from um, with no shipyard time. Well, 15 seconds of shipyard time from U uh, zero to U three and provide you with a lot more survival on that one ship, the fifth ship, which appears to be taking the most damage. So, um, all right. Well, I think we're going to, with the problems we're having, I'm probably going to, uh, um, and the live stream if, if people want to participate in the after show or or if you want to participate in the live stream uh go ahead but here's the link in case anybody'd like to join um but um if you don't join soon i think i'm going to transfer over to the uh the after show so uh the link is there in case anybody wants to join and uh Hope everybody does well in the raid, and I'm um, sorry we didn't get the uh, prize list up there for you, but uh, hope everybody learned something about the targets before you actually have to, to hit them. So, yeah. <clears throat> so. Yeah. Thanks for the demo, Derpy. It's going to help. Yeah. Um, Thank you, Derpy. Hi, everyone. Hey, hey, lady. Yeah. My lady's here. I'm late to the party again. <laughs> yeah, what is the woman <laughs> <party? laughs> okay, Cut off uh, recommends grabbing at least two of the onslaught engines. Um, so nobody else wants to join that wants to comment on something. Um, 
lost Mike again. So um, he is one special uh, shy of a full uh, fleet. So be aware. <laughs> and um, yes, and the tier nine uh, conquest is coming on in very bounty in two weeks. Yeah. So well, we'll see you all. Uh, we'll see you all on Friday when actually I'll know more about the raid than what uh, what we got just demonstrated in front of us. So. Uh, Good luck with that, everybody, and uh, see you on Friday. Good, Good night. night, everyone. Night.